Hey everybody, I'm just gonna pull three cards for this, I believe. I wanted to see, and apparently a lot of people think that Trump will be running in 2024, for, for president in 2024. But let's see what the cards say. Let's see what the cards say. Now I did do a reading a while back on, on who would be the GOP uh, candidate running for president in 2024. And I did get somebody that, if not Trump, was very much like Trump. And that would be like maybe DeSantis or something. But I want to see specifically if Trump is going to be around or is going to actually be um, the candidate, the GOP candidate for president in 2024. Is it going to be Trump? Is it going to be Trump? GOP candidate for president in 2024. Is it going to be Trump? Let's see what we get. First card. Ooh, five of cups. That would be no. That would be a loss. A loss of the primary, possibly. Let's see what else we get. Oh, but then we get the Ace of Cups. Hmm. That's almost a contradiction there. Because the Ace of Cups is, well, it's overflowing. It's your cup overflowing. It's you're so full of emotion that it just spills over the sides of the cup. Um, it's usually something new, though. It's usually something new that brings you all this emotion. Hmm. And, oh, another cup. The Seven of Cups. Choices. Choices, choices. Hmm. This is somebody else. This is somebody else. This is not Trump. This is somebody, I believe this, I'm going to do, I'm going to clarify these underneath, but this is, I don't think this is Trump. I think this is somebody else. And it was um, a person who stood out from a bunch of different choices here. Because this is new. This is, this is a new, <laughs> a new love, a new, somebody new that everybody, um, on the right loves, but I do, don't think it's Trump. Let's see. Let's just clarify everything. So there's the four of cups there because they don't care anymore. They have no emotions here. They don't care anymore about Trump. And this is an interesting card because they don't, I mean, normally this is the, eh, I don't care. Um, same stuff, different day. But then there's this one cup that's really like elevated, like, like it's pointing towards this. Let's see. Ten of wands, a heavy burden, a heavy burden to, to take um, Trump's place, I would say. And then the choices, seven of cups, seven of coins. So this person, hmm, another, it's another seven too. Um, the seven, the seven of pinnacles is about waiting to harvest what you've sown, reaping what you've sown. And it's reversed. Huh. That's kind of telling me, <laughs> this is also looks like a lot of dark money here. 
Um, this has been like hidden from Trump, this, this person. I'm going to do another row just for fun. Let's see. Ace of Wands in reverse here. This is a loss of passion. A loss of passion for Trump. Something, yeah, loss of passion. Probably <laughs> all the stuff that's getting ready to come out about him. Um, let's see. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Boy, there is... Um, This looks like a lot of very hard work getting this getting this person here to be the um, nominee. Hmm. And then what do we have? Queen of Cups in reverse. I think they made a poor choice. And this is looking like somebody who made a poor choice. It's like... It's like the people would have... There was a better choice. There was a better... Okay, whoever is going to be the one who's going to be um, the choice, the, one, the GOP presidential nominee, it's not going to be... Um, what would have been the best choice for the GOP party for the, for the debt for the Republican party. It's not going to be who would have been a better choice for them, a more successful choice, but it's going to be who the powers that be decide, um, they want there. the people, the powerful people, um, decide they want there. And it's going to take a lot of work though, building this guy up. But don't, they will. I mean, he'll be the candidate. So, of course, they'll support support whoever, whoever it is. Um, but it's not the best choice. And it won't be Trump. It will not be Trump. These cards are saying it will not be Trump. Because this, this looks like people no longer have the passion, no longer care at this point. Yeah, I'm really seeing like there was a better candidate that they could have picked, but the one that they're going to pick is is this one. Who's going to be a burden and who's like it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work out for him. That's what that's what I'm getting. Thanks everybody.